It's a very exciting time to be working on fisheries restoration in the Uber River. We have a wide variety of projects that will benefit several threatened species, and these projects will overlap with each other to allow for significant fisheries recovery in the Lower Uber River. I'm Joanna Lassard, and I'm the watershed manager for the Yuba Water Agency. Our primary missions are flood risk reduction to the people of Yuba County, as well as water supply to irrigation districts and farmers. The Yuba watershed was one of the um, heavily targeted watersheds for hydraulic mining. Every time it rained, it would bring that gravel downstream, which really increased the height of the Lower Yuba River bed. The New Bullards Bar project, which was part of the Yuba Development Project, was built primarily as a flood risk reduction project to hold back floodwaters due to the increased bed load from hydraulic mining history. Rising the height of the channel created a situation where the water, every time it rained, would, would spread out in areas that it wouldn't have previously. So in order to offset that, there's been an increase in channelizing the river by moving some of that gravel to create um, flood walls and levees, which ultimately affected fisheries. So I am Michelle Forche. I'm the Senior Environmental Scientist Supervisor for the California Department of Fish and Wildlife. We are trying to successfully reintroduce spring run Chinook salmon into the North Yuba River. We were able to inject 300,000 spring run Chinook salmon eggs into the gravel substrate. Those eggs then hatch and we are collecting them with our rotary screw trap to be able to move them downstream of Inglebright Reservoir, which is their first upstream barrier to fish passage. We're the first reintroduction program in California to actually move adult spring run Chinook salmon above a rim dam, which is so exciting. Uh, my name is Chris Hammersmark. I'm a director at Seabeck Eco Engineering. Here at Hallwood, a big, uh, a big part of the project was to allow the river to be a river again and to spread out, slow down, and warm up to create nursery habitat for juvenile fish so that they could hang around longer and grow to a larger size before they headed out to the ocean. Yuba Water became aware of the project and they were more than willing to support the project. The project was implemented by leveraging $12 million of local, state, and federal funding in a public-private partnership that delivered the project at approximately a $90 million discount. In addition to enhancing the local habitat, we also provided well-paying local jobs and increased the flood resilience of the local communities. Yuba Water is also partnering with the same um, state and federal fisheries agencies to create what's called the Nature Like Fishway to allow for volitional fish passage for all species. That will open up 12.8 miles of, again, new good cold habitat um, in the Lower Yuba River to fish that previously weren't able to get up there. We're working with so many great partners. We're all rowing in the same direction to try to do what's best for these species and really help them recover. I couldn't be more excited to be part of it.